Hey y'all. You can tell this was not a planned recording because I'm not wearing a cute bookish t-shirt. <laughs> so I got a new box today. You guys have probably heard of Lit Joy. I discovered it, I guess. Well, I'd heard of it before, but I um, saw someone, I think either TikTok or Instagram, that had this really cute little sassy sugar bowl on their bookshelf. And I said something about it. They said, go to Lit Joy. I went to Lit Joy. I bought a bunch of stuff separately, but I also got one of their themed boxes. So today's video is a Lit Joy unboxing. <laughs> I did a live over on Instagram unboxing or unhauling or whatever the individual stuff that I got from Lit Joy. I also will put a shorter video on my TikTok. A highlight of that haul is this awesome secret garden inspired key magnifying glass. Didn't need it, wanted it, got it, broke. <laughs> So take a look at one of those platforms for the haul for this other stuff I bought that, di that I didn't need. And so I'm going to do an unboxing for the, I actually think this might be an old box. You know how sometimes the boxes, the box distributors or whatever will put their leftovers up. I'm pretty sure that that's what this is, that it's not a new box. I don't even know if Lit Joy does a monthly subscription or if they only do individual themed boxes. So I'm not a good source of information on this one. I do not plan to continue this one, but I was buying stuff and this one must have been either a good deal or I wanted to try it or something. So I believe that the theme is Journey to Belong. It could be that this is not the theme, but I'm pretty sure it is. Lit Joy, create, uh, Lit Joy Crate enhances the reading experience by picking each item with care. Every item is directly inspired by the book. This booklet explains how each item relates to the book. And as you read the book, each item will reveal itself as meaningful. That kind of sounds fun. All right. So that kind of makes me want to look at the book first. Usually I look at the stuff first, but... Maybe we will look at the book first, which feels very like rebellious and wild. <laughs> Here's what the bag looks like. Fairy Loot also has a bag that the book comes in. This one is very similar, it feels similar, although maybe it's a little bit thicker. I really like this and the decoration of it. I think this must be their kind of usual because the inside of the box also has that kind of pattern on it oh look at it look at it <laughs> the golden flame by emily victoria change your fate pay the price i am so terrible at knowing what's been popular how old things are so maybe you guys are like oh that's old news kenya but i love this Let's see if it looks different on the outside. Oh, there's some artwork on the inside. I love that reversible, um, what's it called? Flip case. Ooh, I love that. Let me take it all the way off. That's beautiful. Hmm. Maybe I actually want to try and turn it around, but I always like don't like to think about it messing up the seams or the pre-folded areas inside. Very pretty. Dropping beautiful things all over the floor. All right, so that's the book. Let me see what it's about. 
orphaned and forced to serve her country's ruling group of scribes, Karis wants nothing more than to find her brother long ago shipped away, but family bonds don't matter to the scriptorium, whose sole focus is unlocking the magic of an ancient automaton army. In her search for her brother, Karis does the seemingly impossible. She awakens a hidden automaton. Intelligent with a conscience of its own, Alex has no idea why he was made or why his father, their nation's greatest traitor, once tried to destroy the automatons. Suddenly, the scriptorian isn't just trying to control Karis, it's hunting her. Together with Alex, Karis must find her brother and the secret that he that's held her country in its power for centuries. All right. I'm actually kind of getting middle grade vibes from that. I don't know if it's YA. It didn't say much about the um, character assigned by the author. Much about the age of the characters. So I'll have to find out, find out more about that. I love middle grade, so. But it's also kind of formatted, not kind of smushed up. <laughs> All right, so that's the book. Automatons, secret histories, political intrigue. Ugh, look, here's where that rash, like, scarred me for life. Deformed. All right, so let's take a look at what came in it. I'm going to look at the cheat sheet. The Golden Flame. An ember in the ashes, which I loved, meets Masks of Shadows in Emily Victoria's Own Voices debut YA fantasy. This golden flame in which asexual Karis, a servant to the mysterious scriptorium, accidentally awakens long dormant automaton Alex initiating an epic adventure full of magic, rebellion, and finding where you truly belong. I wonder how other asexual folks feel about the secondary character who would probably be the love interest is a robot. What do you guys think about that? Any ace folks watching this video want to give me their thoughts about it? In her search for her brother, Karis does the seemingly impossible. Okay, no new information there. New York Institute photo strip, set of two. I assume these characters are from the book or some related book. It's our favorite group of shadow hunters and very entertaining photo booth images. This is exactly how we see these demon hunters hanging out together during their limited downtime. A little bit of fun, a little bit goofy, and a lot of love. Alec and Magnus, Jace and Clary, Isabel and Simon equals couple goals. So that sounds like it is a Percy Jackson. Um, no. Jace and Clary. Shadowhunters, duh. It said that, didn't it? <laughs> it did. Set of two. I think there's two in here. All right. Those are going to be cute bookmarks. Here's uh, art print. It's that picture on the inside of the book. This lipstick's cute. Mm. <laughs> it's on top of a different lipstick. All right. Rapunzel spoon rest. So all of the things in here are individually boxed. My guess is that's because you can buy some of the individual products after. Um, so I don't really know which thing is the thing. So I'll have to open it and see, and then we can look up what it is. Ha ha. I bet this is the spoon rest. It says frying pans. Who knew, right? <laughs> so cute. Um, Rapunzel was robbed of her place in the world and overcame. We love her story of escape, redemption, and finding her place. It reminds of, reminds us of Karis and Alex in this golden flame as they beat the odds and discover who they are and where they belong. Rapunzel's story perfectly represents our theme of journey to belong. And one of our favorite parts, things about Rapunzel is how resourceful she is. Who knew that a frying pan could be used for many purposes? And we think we've discovered yet one more. Rest your spoons while cooking and tasting on this cute black ceramic mini frying pan. Or leave it out for an adorable display. Very adorable. Very adorable. 
I love it so much. Okay, so that's that. Another mini thing. This looks like a darker shade of magic. A darker shade of magic, teacup and saucer. Teacup and saucer. Saucer must be around here somewhere then. Ta-da! Who dream? The ones who dream of stranger worlds. For the ones who dream of stranger worlds. Absolutely precious. And I match it. <laughs> so cute. I love A Darker Shade of Magic. I actually just recently reread the first one with the intention of reading the other two very soon. Darker Shade of Magic. Kel's magic allows him to travel between parallel worlds and create a place for himself in each while truly belonging to none. We love Kel's unique and thrilling tale of magic and belonging and are similarly entranced by the mysterious world of automatons and runes in this golden flame. Our mini teacup, inspired by a darker shade of magic, the red, black, white, and gray design by Nara Feather, highlights the characters in different worlds from the book. This Lit Joy Collector's teacup is dishwasher microwave safe, and it's made out of porcelain. Hmm. Cresswell's and Wadsworth Investigation. I can actually use this, like, all the time. I'm constantly picking at my nails. This is a Stalking Jack the Ripper manicure set. In Stalking Jack the Ripper, wealthy and privileged Audrey Rose felt pulled to a calling far different from what society expected of her. Defying those expectations and pursuing her true passions gave us thrilling adventures and a push to reevaluate our own passions and purposes. Just like the people in the book. <laughs> I haven't read Stalking Jack the Ripper, but I've seen it around and it is certainly on my list, which is entirely fake, as we all know. So list means almost literally nothing. Okay, what else is in here? I love this little frying pan. Okay, I've got a candle with sparkles. That smells so good. I just got lipstick on it. Dust and shadows. Snow, fresh air, bergamot, and apple. You know, I love a candle. In his dark materials, the northern lights not only lead Lyra on the journey of a lifetime, but also to discover her true family. Just as Lyra's journey set her on this path to belonging in his dark materials, you can join the ragtag band of misfits in this golden flame as they search for belonging. Will they suffer alone or will their journey lead them to discover to the discovery of who they really are and where they are meant to be? Two ounce dust and shadows candle by Novelty Yours. I've had some Novelty Yours candles in boxes before. Love them. They burn wonderful. Let's see. I'm supposed to have, okay. I have this washi tape with an umbrella, which I'm sure I can read about. A lip balm. Oh, there were add-ons I didn't get. That makes me sad. <laughs> it looks like there are optional add-ons for this box. One is the enamel pin. So if you're collecting pins, you would add that on. And then one is a New York's Institute Rosie puzzle. So that sounds pretty cool. But this lip balm, I'm glad I saw that it's an add-on because I was about to get pissed that I didn't get the pen. It's not easy to find your place in society, especially when the rumor mills are running. But we love how the Bridgerton family bands together as they each find their way in love and life, just like the group in This Golden Flame. So what your whistle down, wet to your whistle, with this all natural lemonade flavored lip balm. This flavor was inspired by the Tun's favorite ball beverage. Favorite ball beverage. And will help smooth your lips for whispering the latest news from the Whistle Down Society papers. All right. I can also tell you about a book. How about that? 
<laughs> I recently finished um, Wild Seed by Octavia Butler. It was, in my opinion, of course, who else's opinion would I give you? A little slow, and I didn't really care for the story that much. It feels like the kind of book you would read for a feminist literature class and then analyze all the symbolism and stuff. And that sounds like fun for a feminist or African-American literature class, which I am not taking. <laughs> so I gave it three stars. I think Octavia Butler is, I've read a, at least one other book of hers that I loved. This was an older Octavia Butler. Um, if you are trying to get through her entire comp compendium or are really interested in sort of themes of freedom, marriage, um, family, servitude, <laughs> there was a lot about that kind of stuff, then I would recommend the book. Otherwise, I would recommend Kindred, which I really enjoyed um, and has actually some of the same themes, but in a much more modern story uh, background and setting. All right, I already returned it or else I would show it to you. Maybe I'll put the picture here somewhere and I will catch you on the next one.